afraid of these swords. It's very scary. Great warriors had swords, Lavinia, and even some saints are famous with their swords. Really? Even saints have swords? Indeed they did. Let us today tell you the story of Saint Philopater Mercurios, the holder of two swords. I'm so excited to listen to this story. Saint Philopater was born in the year 224 AD in Greece. His parents were not Christians. His father's name was Yaris. One day, Yaris saw a brightening light and heard a beautiful voice from heaven. Yaris, I am Jesus Christ, your God who loves you. You will be Christian, and your son will witness to my name before many kings and rulers. When Yaris went home, he told his wife what had happened to him and what he had heard. Jesus also talked to me. I believe in Jesus Christ and want to be Christian. After Yaris and his family learned the Christian faith, the bishop baptized them. From now on, your name will be changed to Noah, and your wife's name will be Safina. And you, Philopater, will have the name of Mercurios. After a while, the king of the country heard that they had become Christians. So he ordered his soldiers to throw the entire Noah family to the beasts. Thank you, our Lord Jesus Christ, for saving us from these beasts, and that you have worked a miracle with us. I'm sure that our Lord will save us from any evil, just like he saved us from these beasts. Your Majesty, nothing happened to Noah family. The animals even didn't hurt them. Bring them to me. I don't know how this has happened. How were you not fearful of the beasts? Our God is very powerful, and he always protects us. Our Lord told us, fear not, for I am with you, and that's why we fear nothing. Please forgive me, Noah, and because of your bravery, I will appoint you as the chief of soldiers. Mercurios's father was appointed as the chief of soldiers, and God was always with him. Some time had passed, and Noah passed away, and the king decided to appoint Mercurios to replace his father. One day, the enemies attacked Mercurius' city, and the king grew increasingly anxious. Don't worry, our king. I will lead the army myself, and I am sure that God will help us. Mercurius went to his room and prayed to God to give him the power to lead the army. On that day, Archangel Michael appeared to Mercurius, holding a sword in his hand. Mercurius, do not be afraid. Take this sword, fight with it, and our Lord will give you victory over your enemies. Glory be to our Lord. I'm sure God will help us. Mercurius felt that great power filled his soul. And since that time, he always had his sword and the sword that Archangel Michael gave to him. Then he went to fight the enemies and defeated them. But unfortunately, after the victory, the king denied his faith and said that the idols were the reason they won the war. Everyone must worship the idols, and he who does not obey me will be tortured and killed. Mercurius was so sad that the king denied his faith, and he refused to worship the idols. Why didn't you kneel and thank my gods for our victory in this war? Your idols are made of stone. I will never worship them. Deny Jesus now, or else I will show you no mercy. Jesus told us, Do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. I will never deny my Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Guards, torture him, then throw him in the dungeon until he denies his faith. After they tortured St. Marcurius, our Lord sent Michael the Archangel to heal him of his wounds. How did that happen? This man must be killed. When they reached the place where Marcurius was to be martyred, the saint stood up praying and asked our Lord to accept his soul. My Lord Jesus Christ, please accept me in your kingdom. Saint Mercurius was martyred in 25th Hathor in the year 250 AD. And at the time of his martyrdom, his body was luminous and many wonders happened. Oh, Dad, Saint Philopatine Mercurius was so brave and had very strong faith. But who is this man standing behind St. Philopater in the icon? And who is this under his horse? The man standing at the back in the icon is St. Basilius, who, through St. Philopater's intercession, was able to defeat King Julian, who was persecuting the church. 
Oh, St. Philip Petit intercession is so powerful. I will always remember his story and witness to God as he did. That's right, Lavinia. That's what we should always do. May the blessings of St. Mercurios be with us all. Amen. Good night, Lavinia. Good night, Mum. Good night, Dad. Lola and I are already waiting for tomorrow's story.